Where that you, Brad? Me and Echo, we headed out tonight. Got him riding shotgun. Left Dagan at the house. Uh, I think his deer shot around 3 or 3.30. He got bone, just a little bit of blood. He shot with a 300 mag, but he said he ain't finding hardly nothing. Uh, seventh call I got today, I think. I worked today. I got a lot of calls from this morning. It's the first one morning to wait after dark. Me and Echo just seen a whole giant cross, tried to cross the road in front of us, so the bucks are on their feet. He wouldn't let me turn around and put the light on it, so we headed on over here to check this one out. Be back with y'all shortly. I, I, I went where he walked in right there. I went straight to that feeder. I came straight back out, and I went back up to this box stand up here. <laughs> Bone look mighty low. Mm-hmm. Bone, he's on point. That just don't, don't sound right. Found five or six drops from blood within 300 yards. Don't sound right. We're going to go check it out. Oh, Hunter was right. He was right. He told us before if we got started that, uh, what he worried about, he heard a gunshot right this way. I followed drips of blood, drips of blood to uh, on the shot deer to right this gut pile. And you can see somebody gutted a deer, killed it right here this evening. We're in the middle of the woods and they drug it out. Beats anything I ever seen. Somebody killed his deer. First time for everything, though. We'll do a little more investigating to make sure we're right. There's four-wheeler tracks right there where they backed in here. Just to show you, there's triplets of blood. I backtracked Deuce's track. There's where that deer was dripping. And he came up through here. There's another leg blood. And uh, follow this blood all the way up to this gut pile. I just backtracked this track to where that fella killed him. Whoever. And they, uh, we'll find out. But he, he said that's one thing he's worried about that shot. He was right. First time for everything. We're gonna go back to this uh, gut pile where uh, Deuce is at. I just I had to check for myself, backtracking drips of blood out to make sure I was on the right track. There, there's some more blood, you know. There's Deuce, and there's a spot where he got field dressed. <laughs> We're gonna find out who killed him, Owen. and uh, we'll, uh, we will uh, see where he's hit. I'm gonna say low leg. Think about it. Uh, I like YouTube because it's, <laughs> it has uh, cool stuff on it, and I get to watch deer hunting, and I get to watch black tail. All right, well, you'll get to watch tracking now, all right? Yes, sir. And uh, somebody stole y'all, got your deer, huh, before yes, we sir. got there? Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. Well, it's a pretty good little track. Walking to the shot site, the guy told me that he was worried about us. He said he heard a shot on his neighbor behind him. And uh, after he shot, and... Uh, he said he might have killed a deer, which I never thought nothing about it. You know, how's that happen? Pretty slim, what I thought. So, uh, deuce lined out. Had a bone, bleeding very, very little. We find a speck of blood, maybe every 20, 30 yards, maybe a little, another little sliver of bone. 
across the big uh, canal. Deer found blood on the other side, and deuce went on point, and uh, which I knew it wasn't right. You know, you think with a bone, that deer's gonna be alive. But anyway, I followed that drips of blood right to uh, where another hunter had killed a deer and field dressed it in the woods. So he's going to do a little investigating and see uh, who killed it and uh, maybe find out uh, where it was hit. He was, he was just glad that he knew the deer wasn't out there uh, suffering. So that's how it went. So uh, something new tonight. See something new every time we go on tracks about, you know, learn something new. So, uh, if that's what you like, y'all need to subscribe, Zach Crowley 27. Thank y'all.